When does a life story transcend death? Perhaps we can find it in the history of a woman who had nothing but gave so much. She never knew she mattered, but she mattered. 106 years after her passing, Julia Greeley remains in the hearts and minds of thousands of Colorado Catholics. They pray for the day when the Pope will declare her life worthy of sainthood. She put her own pain and her own personal affliction aside. In 2016, the Denver Archdiocese opened up a cause for sainthood. Two years later, the church moved her remains from a cemetery to this place of honor inside Denver's Basilica. They found her bones were riddled with painful arthritis. There's even a story of her walking through Denver in the middle of the night with a mattress on her back uh, to be able to support families. Dr. Barbara Wilcott sat on a committee that gathered 11,000 pages of documents about the life of Julia Greeley. Those documents are now under review at the Vatican in Rome for potential canonization. Greeley couldn't read herself because she was born into slavery in Missouri. Well, she had so many reasons to be bitter. Her right eye was destroyed by a, the lash of a slave master's whip. Father Blaine Berkey wrote a book about the life of Julia Greeley, who came to Denver as an emancipated slave in the 1800s. He says she worked as a housekeeper, including at this home near Regis University. She prayed here at Denver's Sacred Heart Church, where she was baptized. And at night, she walked the Denver streets with a red wagon. She would find and beg for and purchase items to support families who were in need. And she, she uh, carried those around in a little red wagon in the middle of the night. And why at night? Many of the people she helped were white. Darkness would save them the embarrassment of being seen getting help from a black woman. She did it at the back door at night and uh, tried to do it as secretly as possible. <laughs> Greeley is one of six black Americans being considered for sainthood in the Catholic Church. For Denver to have someone come from the Denver community and for that person to have been formerly enslaved and to be a woman and to be black, it really humanizes what it means to be a saint because we are all as Catholics called to be saints. One miracle attributed to her life is the story behind the only photo of her existence. Greeley worked for a woman who could no longer have children. And Julia told her, uh, don't worry, that pretty soon there will be a little angel uh, running around the house. And uh, in fact, not long after that, the, uh, the woman found that she was going to have a child and they had a little baby. And that baby in that photograph is uh, the miracle baby that Julia had promised she'd get. And now, Father Berkey says women around the world who struggle with having children seek hope in Julia Greeley. Well, I believe that she's like all the saints in heaven, so she's someone that I can, <laughs> can talk to. But when you think about someone who simply went about their business, uh, living the way we're called to live, caring about people and loving people and, and sacrificing whatever you have, then it makes the possibility of sainthood seem real. And that anybody can live the life that we're called to live. That is what makes Julia Gurley so special to me.